Okay, here's an update on, I believe it's December 16th. Um, I've got the keel on its side, and I've been working at uh, smoothing it just a little bit. Um, doesn't have to be perfect. I'm not really too concerned with how the keel looks. But it is going to be encapsulated in epoxy and fiberglass. So, initially I went through with my planer, my, my power, hand power planer, a little Bosch here. Um, and I knocked down all the high spots and tried to get things reasonably flat. Um, and I ran a, a level along here just to kind of get it, get it close with the hand planer. Um, you can see it's not by any means perfect, but... Um, but it's not bad. I had the planer set pretty low. You can see the little little ridge there that the planer left. Um, I think it was just under a 32nd of an inch is where I had it set. Yeah, between a 64th and a 32nd. And it actually worked pretty well, all things considered. Um, and now I'm gonna hit it with the, or I am hitting it with the, the belt sander. Um, I started on this end and working this way just to get those other minor imperfections out and then what I'll do is I'll hit it with the with a filler um, there's a lot of places obviously there's gaps where the you know that the edges of the two bytes were rounded need to get those filled in um, then there's some imperfections some knots some bad spots whatnot those get filled with uh, with my silica filler, and then I'll do another sanding. Um, then I'll be ready to uh, put some fiberglass on it. Um, the other side has been rough planed; uh, it hasn't been sanded yet, so I'll need to flip that over to sand it. Um, I got to, this is the backbone of the keel. It's you know, done for the most part. Um, this piece here is done, um, other than, you know, truing it up. This is the piece that goes in here. Um, it kind of goes up, up that way, up towards the bow. Um, <laughs> when I did this, when I cut this out, um, I used a pattern, of course, to, to, to cut this uh, angle out here. And this angle needs to, to, to run all the way out up to there. So that board there is basically going to lay up against that angle cut. And it's a little too steep. So, now this bottom piece here gets cut off right here. Um, and then the, a piece of that mates right up against this little notch gets cut out of that so I don't think it's going to be a, a huge problem I think this angle is supposed to be 12 degrees and it's a little steeper than that um, so I'm gonna to have to do a little work to, to make that I mean a guy could always glue a piece in you know uh, the thing is you know a couple degrees two three four degrees whatever is not a big deal down here in this little narrow spot but when you start extending it out you know, eight feet or whatever this is, um, it starts becoming significant. So, I'm going to have to account for that. Um, I don't think I need to... I don't think I need to uh, glue a piece in there. Um, I think I can just uh, make a pattern for, from what I have here and apply it to, to that to get the correct angle on there. Because providing the angle is correct, and you know these measurements are correct um it'll all still work out so because you know everything needs to be hand fit the way it is i mean pretty much every piece in a boat is hand fit and this here now piece is the next one i'm starting to lay up um this goes on the stern it's a part of the dead wood on the stern um it's actually the next biggest piece which is this piece here um it's going to have the shaft log in, in the top of it um, shaft log. You know, I was worried about that. Um, 
I started looking at some formulas and rules of thumbs for, for your shaft length. Um, this shaft log is 9 feet 8 and 3 quarter inches long. So you can have a, a, a stern bearing here, uh, you know, your cutlass bearing back here, and then a rigid packing box up here, stuffing box, whatever. Um, but still, that's almost 10 feet. And a rule of thumb states that uh, some people say 30 to 1, some people say 40 to 1. Uh, so if we got a two inch shaft that would be a maximum of 80 inches long and well 10 feet is 120 inches long that's too long but um, I started running through the actual formulas rather than just rules of thumb and in the book I've got by David Gurr he said too that uh, um, using the actual formulas will give you a better longer length permissible length than just using rule of thumbs and this would assume a, a high strength alloy as opposed to brass but or bronze but anyway so I am going to be okay there I came out with uh, over 10 feet permissible length um, actually I think it was 12 feet just a touch over 12 feet so um, we're within the, you know reason there um, I haven't laid any new boards up in epoxy in the last couple days I working on some other things but um I suppose I should be but oh well I don't know what else I got going on now um put a new vice in here uh I guess my chain hoist um is what I'm using to move this <laughs> this keel around uh, I calculated it out like 1,950 pounds, so just shy of a ton, um, and it was moving it just fine. I mean, you can feel the weight when you get that much weight on there, but but it was it was working just fine. I did buy another strap, a longer strap, uh, heavy duty strap, because I was having to tie a couple of these shorter ones together, and, and while well, this one's rated at, you know. 3,400 pounds or 2,500 pounds in, in choker capacity, 3,200 pounds otherwise. But I went ahead and got a heavier duty longer strap that makes it a little easier for me to tie around this thing in a choker mode and then bring it bring it up to the to the chain hoist hook there. But um, I need to get this cut, this angle here cut the rest of the way. And I think the reason I wanted getting a little off there was because I when I cut this angle originally was I'm not sure why but anyway um, I used my ten and a quarter inch circular saw to do a cut on either side and I didn't get it very close so I had so then I ran my my jigsaw my ten inch jigsaw through there which did the job of course but um, yeah, I think I would rather try to make my cuts a little closer. So I'll get my, my line drawn out on both sides a little closer and cut a little more accurately with the circular saw, which is only going to give me three some three and seven eighths inches depth of cut, something like that. And then I bought a couple of hand new hand saws um, so I can go in the kerf then and finish them out. Oh, where did I put them? Over here, I guess. I bought, I've got a couple of these smaller, these draw saws, Japanese draw saws. And then I bought just a regular um, fast cut, fine finish saw, which should get me into those, into those curves and, and finish, you know, just that last inch or whatever I have to cut out of those curves. Should work fine. Um, you may wonder how I'm planning on sizing this uh, the, the plans call for a 9 inch width keel. Uh, these are 2 by 10s, which are actual like 9 and a quarter, just a hair over 9 and a quarter actually. Um, so I've got basically an eighth of an inch plus that I can take off each side and still keep it at a minimum of 9 inches. Although honestly, I think I'm going to wind up a little over, a little over 9 inches yet, which is fine. And that's something that George said in his book too, you know. Um, you know, lay out your your uh, your frames for whatever size wood you've you've got. You know, um, 
but anyway yeah I'm just taking it down enough to, to get it trued up and uh, smoothed up I, you know there's really no sense in throwing wood away although you can already see there's a lot of wood thrown away already but uh, there's no sense in throwing wood away I mean if it's nine and, and an eighth um, so be it it's nine and an eighth I'll just make my frames for a nine and an eighth inch wide keel and like I said I'm not really too worried about how the keel looks I mean it's going to be underwater and um, but I do need to finish it so I am going to epoxy it that's something George said in the book too that you know if you're going to epoxy in fiberglass you know the, the hull you might as well do the keel too so that's what we're going to do um, and we just keep moving on um, anyway that's my December 16th, I think it is, update.